morning, Foley High School. Will you please stand for a moment of silent meditation and remain standing as we honor our nation in reciting the Pledge of Allegiance. And now, join me for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, I'm Logan Lane, filling in for Britton Wallace. And I'm Abby Wester. Before we get started with today's announcements, let's announce those birthdays for today. The birthdays are Bobby Kleinschmidt, Kelly Tillman, and Kelsey Madison. And happy birthday to you all. Now let's see what's going on around campus. If you're a peer helper, you should have received a note in homeroom with our new shirt design. If you're interested in purchasing this shirt, Siemens Champion, with your size, ASAP, you only need to pre-order, not prepay. You may pay when they arrive, but you must let Ms. Champion know your shirt size by Tuesday. Attention, FHS students. Student Council is raising money for the United Way. The United Way is an organization that helps out various families and people in Baldwin County. We no longer have a break, which is where we used to raise a lot of our money. Your fellow students will be carrying around black buckets. Please be very generous and help out families in our community. A couple more of the programs supported by United Way are Bay Area Food Bank, which assists hungry individuals and families along the central Gulf Coast. In many ways, more than 500 food banks agencies are ready to provide meals and or groceries for those struggling to afford food. The Lighthouse is committed to providing support preventing violence, and promoting justice for the victims of domestic violence and sexual abuse. Are you planning on going to the Follies? Follies. Well, mark it on your calendar, because it will be here in just a few more days. The Foley Theater Company is presenting the first annual Foley Folly silent auction on Monday at 6 p.m. This will be offering a few gift certificates to restaurants, Kim Nails, and a lot more. So come out and attend. Good morning, Foley High School. I'm Shelby Hoffman here with Cap Peavy, who has recently rescued a man from a burning truck. Now, Cap, can you tell us a little bit more about this? Well, we were heading to Tennessee for a college visit, and we were going down I-65, and we started slowing down because of a wreck up the road. Well, my mother looked out the rearview mirror and started screaming, and I looked to the passenger side window, and I saw a car just take out our mirror. Well, my mother said that there was a car on fire, so my instinct was just to run over there and make sure there was ever anybody in there, and there was, so I made sure I got him out. So what made you risk your life for this man to get him out when you knew yours was in danger? It was just my instinct. I wasn't really thinking at the time. I was just trying to make sure everybody was safe. Well, that's an incredible story, and everybody thank Cap for being such a good Samaritan. Thank you, Foley High School, and I'm back to the news. Seniors, are you interested in senior early release through Faulkner State? Then you need to see Ms. Loris for an information packet. The deadline is Wednesday, October 30th. This is a great opportunity to get a head start on college. You can take courses at FSCC during the spring semester. And also, UAH will be at Ruby Tuesdays in Fairhope on Wednesday, October 30th at 6.30. Register by emailing Jennifer at jennifer.berry at uah.edu. Seniors, don't forget to order your fall senior t-shirts. You now have two designs to choose from, or you can order both. The yellow long sleeve shirt is still on sale through November 1st. And there is also a black t-shirt that says stay classy on the front, and you can have your last name put on the back. The black t-shirt comes in short sleeves for $15 and long sleeve for $20. See Miss K in room 207 to order your t-shirts. They are pre-order only, so don't miss out on this awesome senior t-shirt. Abby, what are you doing with my money? I need lunch money. Well, why didn't you ask? Because I just... Well, give it back! You're gonna have to catch me first. She stole my car keys. Well... Guess we better turn it on over to the lunch crew to see what's for lunch today. Not that it matters because I can't buy anything, but anyways, let's see what's for lunch today. Today for lunch we're having ham and cheese flatbread milk, some sun chips, some green peas, some cucumber slices, some fruit, and a chocolate pudding cup. 
And Monday morning for breakfast, we're having waffle sticks, ham, fruit, and juice. Now back to the news. Well, Abby, where's my change? Well, I didn't really have any because I bought myself a jacket while I was out. You bought yourself a jacket? I thought you went to get lunch. Well, it was kind of chilly outside. Oh, so you just so. skip camp? Uh, you just go off campus anytime you want? I needed a jacket. Oh, so that's what you do. That's real professional. Well, speaking of change, we've had a change in the weather, folks, haven't we, Abby? Yes, we have. It's gotten mighty colder, so I guess that $40 jacket's going to come in handy. Yes, So it let's will. turn it on over to Diana Shapiro and Jessica Pullman with the weather. Today is going to be sunny with high near 73, north winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. For today, it's going to be mostly clear with a low around 40, northeast winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. For today's weather, I'm Diana Shapiro. Now let's go to Jessica Pullman with the Weekend View. Thanks, Diana. Looking at your Weekend View, Saturday we're starting off temperatures in the mid-50s. It's going to be going to the mid-70s as we go on through the day. Wind speed 5 to 10 miles per hour. Later that night, temperatures are dropping down to the low 40s, so bundle up. Looking at Sunday, you can see temperatures are going to be starting at about 65 degrees. Not so bad. Now, later in the day, temperatures are going to be going to the high 70s, but dropping down to the low 50s. Now, anyone going to the fair in Pensacola, temperatures are going to be the exact same, so remember to bundle up. Now, looking at our map, you can see that higher pressure system is revolving, which is causing that cold front to move south. That should be hitting us on Friday night. So remember, wear those warm clothes. For your weekend view, I'm Jessica Pullman. Now back to the news. I like big clubs and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. But when a girl walks in with the itty bitty waist and a round thing in your face, you get sprung. Wow! Now let's see what's going on around school with our clubs. A National Honor Society new member meeting will be held Monday after school at 310 in the library. It will be a short meeting. If you are not able to attend, please see Ms. Robinson or Ms. Wynn. Also, old members, please stop by the library on Monday as well to see Ms. Wynn. Good morning, Foley High School. I'm Maddie Atkins. And I'm Sam Santa Cruz. And we're your sports girls. Tonight we have another away game against Dothan High School, and as usual, kickoff is at 7 o'clock. We know it's a long drive, but last week we didn't have many supporters. Let's try to fill up the stands tonight and cheer our team on to another win. Go Foley! Hello? Hello, Lydia. Who is this? It's whoever you want it to be. Nate? No, it's not Nate. Listen, do you want to play a game? Sure, what type of game? What's your favorite scary movie? My favorite scary movie? Well, I don't really have one. I know exactly where you are. I can see you. You're in the library. Yep. In the library? How'd you know I was in the library? Oh, so you're right behind me. What do you mean, right behind? Doing. I just want to know what time it was. God. Before we leave today, I'd, we'd like to let you all know, if you don't already know, that Boo Loos is no longer running. Um, it was a wonderful weekend that they had last weekend, but due to circumstances that are beyond their control, Boo Loos will no longer be able to operate. But we would like to thank Ms. Smith, along with all of her student volunteers, who put in hours upon hours of work, as well as money, into this. And they did an extremely great job. Abby and I both were there, and it was some amazing work that these young artists, and construction-wise, I mean, it was just phenomenal. So thank you once again to Ms. Smith and to her student volunteers. Y'all did a fantastic, fantastic job. And it is unfortunate that this had to happen. And today's shout-outs go to sophomore India Purdue and freshman Savannah McClintock. Well, folks, that's all of your Lion Pride news for today. We'll see you back here Monday for more news from around school. Have, Have a, a frightening, frightening Friday. Friday. This is the